everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be discussing about the last problem of today's biweekly contest count sub arrays with score less than k problem states that you are given an array and an integer k you need to find the number of non empty sub arrays of this array whose score is less than k now what is score score is defined as the product of sum and the length so for example the score of this 1 2 3 4 5 is the sum of 1 2 3 4 5 multiplied by the length of this array which is 5 so you need to find the number of non empty sub arrays whose score is less than k now how to solve this first uh, like because you have to like what is the brute force solution you have to find the score right so you can say it like i will try all possible sub array like i will try this 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 uh, and so on and then i will try this one this one this one and so on right so how many total sub arrays are there in an array order n square right so your complexity like time complexity of your solution would be order n square in that case so that will not pass because the value of n itself is 10 to the power 5 so what you can do you have this c you have two variables here right length and sum so clearly you can't try all possible sub array so what's left is you have to fix something and then try to solve the rest of the part efficiently so for like you for example you can fix length or sum or index maybe like where where is where your sub array is starting or ending so let's try this all of this one by one let's say you fix length okay so if you fix length what exactly you you will need to find you will need to find for a given length l how many sub arrays are there whose length is l and sum is less than k by l so what will be the time complexity of this solution like you have you have fixed length like you you know you will try all possible value of length which is l so number of possible value of l would be order n right now you want your solution to run faster than order n square so what you want you want to solve this part in less than order n like maybe in order log n or some something like that right so just look at this uh, requirement and see if you can solve this so you are you are given the integer l you need to find out all the sub arrays whose sum is less than k by l that is like can you find this like sum is less than k by l for a given length l without iterating over the entire array like you can think about this you will not be able to solve this particular problem so like in log n time they at least you have to iterate over the entire array once so that is order n so basically n into n it's again n square so you can't actually fix like fixing length would not make sense now let's see fixing like what happens if we fix sum so if we fix sum again the what is the time complexity so time complexity would be number of distinct value of s multiplied by something right now here we, we don't even need to go to something because now what is the number of distinct value of s number of distinct value of s would be order n square right what is s s is the sum of sub array so in worst case sum of every sub array would be different so number of distinct value of s would be order n square so similar like we don't even need to go here this solution would not work now what is left is fixing an index so what fixing an index means we are saying that uh, we will find out all like we will fix our index j and we will find out how many good sub arrays are there which are starting with j or basically or ending with j let's say how many sub arrays are there which are like how many valid sub arrays are there which are ending with j so what is valid sub array sum into length should be less than k now can you solve this basically you uh, you you what you are saying you are fixing an index so number of possible index would be again order n right so what exactly you need to do you need to solve this piece in order log n right or like or some something like this log square n or something like this so now what you have done is you have fixed j right so you are saying how many possible sub arrays are there which end with j so basically out of this 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 uh this and this like out of all this array how many of them are good so you have to do like 
one possible solution could be just try this like sum just sum these two and then multiply by two and see which is less than k then try this multiply by two see the see uh, multiply by three and see if it's less than k and so on and so forth so that is one linear search solution which will take order n but you need to do it faster than order n so apart from linear search what else comes to your mind like first is binary search right let's see like what exactly binary search is when you are given a uh, range you what you do you divide it into exactly half you will see if you can either go left or go right and skip one of the piece right so that's what binary search is now whether this like can this be applied here so what, what let's say you you uh, divide the array into half now whether you can like if let's say this part is valid let's say this part is valid so can you skip searching this part and only search in this part answer is yes right because if you know that this entire piece is valid it means the sum of this multiplied by 4 is valid so definitely sum of this multiplied by 3 would be valid similarly sum of this multiplied by 2 would be valid because sum of this multiplied by like sum of this bigger sub array multiplied by 4 is valid right so obviously the smaller one smaller ones should be valid so that's where you can safely skip the right and only search in the right left part similarly if if you say that okay i i divide the array into half now this sub array is not good basically the sum of this sub array multiplied by length is not good in that case would you be ever searching in the left part answer is no right because if you know the sum of this multiplied by 4 is itself greater than k then if you add one more thing and then multiply by 5 it will anyway be greater than k so you can safely skip the left and only search in the right part so basically what you are able to do is if you divide the array into half you are able to decide whether to search only in the left or to search only in the right so this is a clear cut uh, application of binary search so what you can do you can fix an index j okay and then do a binary search over index 0 like from index 0 to j and see like divide the array into half see if this particular sub array is valid or not if it is valid search in the left part otherwise search in the right part so now the next thing is how to actually like find out whether this particular sub array is valid or not so to do that like you have to find out like whether this sub array is valid or not so what you need is the sum and the length length you already know right like let's say the index is i so length you know j minus i you know you want to find out the sum so this is like how can you find out the sum of a sub array in order one time prefix sum right you will just find out the sum until here and you also you also know the sum until here you will subtract these two and you will get the sum of this part so hope this entire piece is clear let's just reiterate over it what you do you just fix an index j and in this in, in ending index j and then you try to apply binary search from 0 to j you divide the array into half you say whether i like what is the like whether this sub array is good or not now how do you find out whether it is good or not you already know the length because the, you can just subtract the indexes you need the sum and sum you can get from uh, prefix uh, prefix sum method so once you get the sum and you know whether this array is valid or not if it is valid you will search in the left part if it is not valid you will search in the right part so hope this is clear so what you what we are doing exactly here we are fixing and like for each index j we are doing a binary search and let's say the result is i basically what we are saying is up till here everything is correct so basically let's say this is i so what we are saying is j to i i to j is correct i plus 1 to j is correct i plus 2 to j is correct i plus 3 to j is correct right and we will just add j minus i to the answer so this is the solution let's just look at the code the code is very simple 
uh, we find the prefix sums and then we see for each index like uh, I, I move all of this to one index in, from zero index so for each index we are doing a binary search from zero to j uh, I checked whether the current value itself is greater than G, greater than k or not because if current value itself is greater than k, you can't actually take any subarray. So that's where this condition. Now I do a binary search. I see I find out the sum from prefix sum, and then for score I just multiply it sum with j minus m. Now if this score is greater than equals to k, then it means this subarray is not good. So the, you don't need to search on the left part of the array. So you will just move your left pointer to m plus 1 otherwise you will search in the uh, you you know that this piece this piece is correct so no need to search anywhere here just search the left part so that's where you just move the right pointer and after everything is done you will just add j minus l to the answer so hope you got the solution if you have any doubts in this question please feel free to post them in the comment section below i will be happy to answer if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.